Question number 10, Mr Speaker. Minister. The Child Maintenance and Enforcement Commission has a range of enforcement powers which it can deploy to secure payments from parents who refuse to pay. However, non-resident parents are given every chance to pay their child maintenance, and it's only when they are deliberately non-compliant that the Commission will use these powers. Hugh Swinson. I thank the Minister for that reply. All members of this House will have constituents who are not receiving the child maintenance they're entitled to, either as their former partners giving the CSA the runaround by changing jobs or the self-employed hiding their true earnings. The government rightly does not allow these people to avoid paying tax, and surely HMRC data could therefore be used mm -hmm. to properly mm -hmm. assess child maintenance liability. Yeah. Um, as alongside this government getting tough on tax avoidance, will it get tough on child maintenance avoidance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I thank my honourable friend for that question, and she's absolutely right that um, this sort of data can help um, particularly make sure that individuals are paying money that they are due to pay, um, and that is indeed something that we will be looking at under the um, revisions that are planned for the IT system uh, for the Child Support Agency. But I'd also like to um, really reassure her that there are also a number of other measures that the Child <coughs> Maintenance Enforcement Agency are already putting in place so that we increase enforcement actions, and indeed we have seen significant increase in enforcement actions as a result of these measures in the last 12 months 